This morning we have an update on our exclusive early eye investigation into anabolic steroids that are disguised as dietary supplements. You might be taking them, your child might be taking them, putting their health at risk and not even knowing about it. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiella is back with more. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Maggie. Since we've started reporting on this story last March, the FDA has begun to crack down on designer steroids like Tren. But as you're about to see, they're still very available and very dangerous. I saw good amount of strength. I saw a decent amount of size that lean me out. At supplement stores, in gyms, and online, after our story aired yesterday, there's plenty of talk about so-called pro-hormones like Tren, how they work, and the effect they can have on organs like the liver. I would guess that 85% um, of the people know exactly what they're doing. There's been too much publicity with regard to this uh, area. They know. Pro testosterone formula. But as we saw at these when supplement stores, it it's not always easy to tell what's safe and what may be a dangerous anabolic steroid. If I'd known it was anabolic, I wouldn't have touched it. Um, that's just not me. I don't do drugs, I don't do alcohol, and I don't do the steroids. Tyrone LaRose is a 43-year-old going for his MBA in professional management. He started taking Trend last fall to put on some weight and to get more serious about bodybuilding and his bench press. From 285, uh, I went all the way up to like 325, hit 335. At first, I thought it was worth it uh, until I got ill. Steady hard. Tyrone <laughs> says he took less <laughs> than the recommended body. dose, about five pills a week okay. for three months. That's when he developed jaundice so severe his father had to take him to the emergency room. His eyes were almost cat green and his complexion was uh, terrible. A biopsy revealed he had severe liver damage. Tyrone is part of a class action lawsuit against American Cellular Labs, the manufacturer of the Tren Extreme that he says took a heavy toll on his liver and his skin. From the back of my arms all the way to the top of my shoulders on both sides of my body and comes all the way down my back to uh, the back of my legs. And Tyrone's not the only one. Liver transplant specialist Dr. Zed Kayali was so alarmed about the severe liver damage he saw in a cluster of patients taking Tren, he reported them to the FDA. You see multiple cases um, in a very short period of time and very healthy people who have no risk factor for liver disease. This is very alarming. There's nothing on the label that says your liver is going to rot. It may say somewhere in a small print that if you're an athlete, be careful. But many times they don't. We had leading anti-doping expert Dr. Don Catlin test the brand of trend taken by Tyrone and two others we purchased online at a supplement store. Test results confirmed all three are anabolic steroids, all three illegal supplements under the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. So why are they still for sale? These are anabolic steroids and you can buy them at a vitamin store next to a gym. Well, people assume that they've been cleared by the government, by the Food and Drug Administration, which is not so. They're not subject to preclearance. Senator Arlen Specter is working on new legislation to make it easier for the DEA to classify designer steroids like Tren as controlled substances, like heroin or cocaine. Supplement industry spokesperson Dr. Daniel Fabricant. These folks are criminals. They're not part of the industry, um, and they need to be enforced against. But with billions of dollars in profits, it's an uphill battle. Supplement, uh, sports supplement marketers are not one, but about 10 steps ahead of regulators in getting the next designer steroid to the market. They just uh, tweak a known illegal anabolic steroid by a molecule or two and market it as a legal dietary supplement. And again, nowhere on these bottles does it say steroids. That's infuriating. It's definitely an uphill battle. So in the meantime, what can people who are part of this world do? Are there safe alternatives? Well, there are some protein powders and that sort of thing. I mean, the, the alluring thing about this is that it actually works. Right. It does build up your muscles quickly. But you need to be very careful. If you see something like this, at the very least, do a little internet search first. Do your research because inevitably, if it is a, a designer anabolic, you'll see it on the chat rooms. You'll know. You'll see people talking about side effects or see your report. Thanks, Absolutely. Kelly, so much. All right.